Wife had been flirting with her co-worker. She said she would stop, but it just happened again. Is there any future in this relationship? My wife and I have been married for a little over three years. Last Christmas, I discovered she had been having a lengthy discussion with a colleague in which they discussed having numerous times and how they couldn't wait for the next one. The man said that he planned to reserve a hotel near their business shortly after Christmas. When he mentioned he was looking forward to seeing my wife, she would respond with comments like, I'm looking forward to much more than just seeing you and so on. You get the picture. Excessively flirtatious. When I approached my wife, she denied having had the chat. She showed me her phone after she deleted it to verify it didn't exist. But I had taken a few photographs. She then claimed that everything was virtual and that they never did anything bodily. To illustrate her point, she messaged her colleague in front of me and asked whether he had booked the hotel, to which he answered, not yet. She then questioned whether he was sure they were going to meet, to which he answered no. She vowed they would never speak again, and I agreed because I loved her and wanted to believe her, but I wasn't fully certain she had been truthful. I must confess that I checked her phones much too often for a few weeks, so she changed her password, which I was all right with since I was probably being too worried. I picked up her phone this week because I required a code that had been provided to her phone number. I didn't even have to unlock the screen to access it. Surprisingly, there were further messages from the same individual behind the message with the code. One was an audio, the second was a shirtless picture of himself in front of a mirror, and the third was sweaty with a few tongue emojis. I questioned her since she had promised they wouldn't communicate again, and she said that he only wanted to show her that he's going to the gym to demonstrate improvement. But the majority of the time they chat, it's about work, and this is simply a coincidence. I begged her to show me the remainder of their texts, but she stated she had wiped their chat history by accident. My wife claims she'll change this time and that I never really forgiven her, which is why she continued talking to the man. She swears she's going to quit this time, but I'm not sure I believe her. Even if she does stop, I'm afraid she'll do it again when things aren't going so well between us. I adore her, but I can't keep living like this. Is there any case where this might work? What would your reaction be? Update. My brain just couldn't cope with the disaster and collapse of the universe I had created for myself, in which my wife is my love, best friend and partner, and the person I adore the most. She was flawless, and she made me happy for many years. I believed that no other couple in the world could have what we had. For a long period, we were both overjoyed. We were both gorgeous, innately decent, had enormous hearts and were both tremendously successful in our vocations. To consider things through, I relocated to an errand and then to my family's house. It was a dreadful moment, yet a psychologist assisted me in recovering from a bad mental condition. It happened at the same time as the pandemic struck my city hard. I received the virus, which didn't help. During this time, we continued to converse, and my wife apologized profusely and said that they had not met. I knew it wasn't real but I was prepared to forgive the lady of my dreams, who remained at my universe's highest altar. Fast forward to last Saturday morning, when I returned to our apartment, determined to forgive her and work things out in the most adult manner imaginable. And, well, there she was, but I was the one who was taken aback, to say the least. My wife and the man were both nude in my home. The man in the texts, the one in the photos, she said she didn't even enjoy it. He was hidden in my bathroom as my wife was putting on her pajamas. When I saw him hiding in my restroom, he apologized, sorry buddy. For a split second, I wondered, is this where I'm going to murder him? But I immediately said, I have nothing against you, since the guy was really crushing on this lovely lady, even if he was doing it in a home full of my photos, photographs from our wedding, our family, images of my deceased father, who would be heartbroken to see how the marriage he never saw would end. He has always been the driving force behind my efforts to make the world a better place. Two months before our wedding he died away. I apologize. I still adore her to the moon and back, but I've come to realize that enough is enough. Even if my universe falls apart, I hope I can rebuild a new one that isn't based on falsehoods and in which I'm not simply a blind believer worshipping a fictitious deity. Story 2 My, 35 male, wife of 5 years, 29 female, cheated. My 5-year-old wife cheated by sleeping with a stranger she met in a shop. They swapped numbers, spoke, drank, and she brought him to her hotel room for. She told me everything and insists that the narrative, as bizarre as it seems, is real. Our marriage had been rocky, which was why she took a break and booked a hotel room in the first place. She went out on the town and met the stranger there. 
We still love and care about one another, and it would be good to keep in touch. Is this good for you? Second, even though she has only known this person for three weeks, she has maintained contact with the person with whom she had after their experience, and she has built a deep connection and like for this person. She describes it as love at first sight. She says she still loves me. She has now moved out and is now living on her own. I informed her that if we were to be friends in any capacity, she couldn't be in a relationship or have open contact with the person with whom she had cheated on me. She's finding this a tough request since she doesn't want to lose our relationship, but has also built a strong bond with her three-week-old encounters with her male equivalent of mistress. Is this an appropriate request? Update. I'm going to visit a therapist to help me get through this difficult time in my life. I guess deep down I knew none of this was a good idea, but perhaps I was shocked by her admission and further freaking audacious actions, combined with the reality of the last five years of building, traveling, fun and happy times, and my once best friend in life and first true love, all coming to an end. I'm certainly letting my emotions take control of me here. The friendship would certainly not help me in any way, but I can see how it might benefit her in a variety of ways. Someone described it as a security blanket. I also agree that I cannot control who she sees or befriends at this time. Knowing she still desired a relationship with the person she cheated on me with, I should have just dismissed the idea of us remaining friends. To those looking for more details, no, we don't have any children. I've challenged her on the meeting at a shop tale multiple times, but she keeps repeating it. Says she recognizes the conduct was dangerous and unhealthy, but she was in a vulnerable state, owing to the marital depression, when she initially met the man and took his number and offer for drinks. She also blames alcohol for some of her activities. This lady entered my life at a time when I was in a low place myself. She is a significant part of why I am the person I am today, since she has helped me grow in numerous ways. So it seemed to me that one of the reasons I still wanted to be there for her after what had occurred was to express thanks. As others have pointed out, it is also likely due to a lack of self-esteem. I'm also aware that when she goes through circumstances like this, she might have suicidal thoughts and talk in very dark words, which she has done throughout this process, particularly when she believed she was going to be homeless, etc. But I'm seeing that she, like me, has to seek therapy in order to improve herself. She can't expect me to care about her more than she cares about herself. If I'm to go on, I must prioritize myself and my mental health, especially at this time. We've experienced several marital problems throughout the years. On both sides, it's usually in the form of verbal abuse. When we have disagreements, both of us say some really heinous things. We attempted to alter this, but it did not seem to be functioning. This, she believes, is what motivated her to do what she did. The break at issue was not a divorce. After our last huge disagreement, we were debating whether we should call it quits or not. She then said that she needed some alone time, so she went out of town for a few days. She even invited me to join her on the first day slash night, which I gladly accepted. The event with that stranger occurred the next day. I'm still trying to make sense of it all. Some it seems to be made up and she appears to be lying. Others seem to be quite unreasonable conduct, which she blames on things I've said in disputes. Whether or whether it was intended, or done in rage, it's clearly rude regardless of how you look at it. If we were to call it a day, let's do that first, then go after your rendezvous. As much as it still hurts and is hard, I am now filed for divorce, have ceased all communication with her, save to discuss how to divide our assets, and will be seeing a therapist. She even invited me to join her on the first day slash night, which I gladly accepted. The event with that stranger occurred the next day. I'm still trying to make sense of it all. Some of it seems to be made up and she appears to be lying. Others seem to be quite unreasonable conduct, which she blames on things I've said in disputes. Whether or whether it was intended, or done in rage, it's clearly rude regardless of how you look at it. If we were to call it a day, let's do that first, then go after your rendezvous. As much as it still hurts and is hard, I am now filed for divorce, have ceased all communication with her, sake to discuss how to divide our assets, and will be seeing a therapist.